Hi everyone, are you having a problem where you want to animate the content in a table one by one in Microsoft PowerPoint? But what happens, the table gets animated is single piece. Today, I'll show you how to animate a table's content individually rather than one piece. So let's get to the video. Right over here, you can see I have a table with three rows and two columns. If I'm going to select it like this and go to animation tab and apply any of the animation, you can see the whole table gets animated. This is not what we want. Let me remove the animation. Simply select the table, right click, click copy, go to, you can paste it over here as well, but I would suggest you go to a blank slide and paste it over here like this. Go to home tab in the clipboard group, click on this little arrow right beneath paste and out of the given options, choose paste special. And right over here, you can see we have bunch of options, but we have to select this one picture enhanced meta file click on ok and there we are now we have actually converted the table into a picture simply double click over here and you could see all the properties attached with the picture gets enabled right on the ribbon now again select the picture right click and go to group option and simply click on ungroup ignore the message simply click on yes and there we are Again, select the table, go to group and choose ungroup option once more. And there we are. Now, now each cell is acting as an individual entity rather as a part of a group. Let me show you. Select the first cell and hold the control key and click on second cell. And similarly, holding the control key, select all the cells like this. Now go to animation tab and apply any of the animations out of the given option. Let me choose this fly in animation. In the animation pane, right over here, you can see we have this little arrow, choose little arrow. Now click on start on click. Let's see the slide show now. Now you can see each text gets animated as an individual entity rather as a group. And that's it for today's video. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching.